Welcome back to Databases. In this lecture, we are going to look at the translation of the conceptual model, so an entity relationship diagram, to the relational model. We start with the basic translation. So we will represent entity and relationship sets as tables. Roughly, we will have one table for every entity set, and we will have one table for every relationship set. The name of the tables will correspond to the name of the entity or relationship set. And the columns are roughly the attributes of the entity sets or the relationship sets. So a strong entity set becomes a table with columns for each attribute. So in this example, we have a strong entity set customer with attributes ID, name, street, and city, and we create a table customer with the columns ID, name, street, and city. So a weak entity set is translated into a table that has columns for each of the attributes, plus columns for the primary key of the identifying entity set. Here we have a weak entity payment so we translate this into a table payment with columns, date, amount, payment number, plus the primary key of the identifying entity set. The identifying entity set is loan, and the primary key of loan is the loan number. So we have a column with the loan number, which is a foreign key that references loan. And then we have columns for the attributes, payment number, date, and amount. The key of the payment table is the combination of the primary key of the identifying entity and the discriminator of the weak entity set. So in this case, the key of the payment table is the combination of loan number and payment number. A many-to-many -many relationship set is translated into a table that has columns for the attributes of the relationship set plus columns for each of the primary keys of the participating entity sets. In this example, we have a borrower entity set. It does not have any attributes. We don't need any columns for the attributes. But we need to include the primary key of the customer entity set and the primary key of the loan. These are the two participating entity sets. So we get a table borrower that has a foreign key ID referencing the customer table, and we have a foreign key loan number referencing the loan table. On this slide, it says that this is translation for a many-to-many -many relationship set. In general, we can use this translation for arbitrary relationship sets, but we will later see that depending on the cardinality limits, we might want to choose a slightly different translation to enforce these cardinality limits by the design of the database schema. 